Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for singles, and this is for February. So keep that in mind. This reading may or may not be for you, but this is for singles. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius singles? Hmm. Well, all is not as it seems. Beware. Beware when you get the moon card. This is illusion. This is shadow. This is hidden forces. Proceed with caution. You need to follow your gut. Okay, there could be some unseen problems. You could be dealing with a liar. You're single. Maybe I mean, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. It doesn't have to be. <coughs> Somebody could come forth or come towards you, and they are not all that they are cracked up to be. So be really, really careful. Beware. Beware, okay? That's what that looks like to me. It looks like you're going to... Somebody... A liar. Okay? Maybe dealing with a liar. All right? Ooh, but they're going to offer you love. It probably is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This some person... There may be a little bit of an age difference. This person may have a crush. They may be flirting with you. You know, but it looks like they're not telling you the whole truth. Okay, that moon is not the whole truth. There's something that is hidden. This person may be love struck. They may have caused you to feel love struck. Okay, there may be an admirer, somebody that is showing feelings for you. And I think that your gut will probably have say, you know what, there's something up with this person. I think that your intuition will speak to you, but will you listen? Will you listen? Because this person is very cunning, okay? Very, very... Um, loving so they they really are smooth you talk this is a smooth talker so whoever you're dealing with is smooth you're gonna be getting an offer but the and it could be from a pisces or a cancer or a scorpio and this person uh they may have an image problem okay they may they may be really focused on image and maybe they like you like the way you look or whatever um change change in direction now this is some usually it's good the wheel of fortune is good you could be at the right place at the right time this could be like a serendipity time type of thing oh see but it doesn't lead to anything stable it does not there's no follow-through here I think that you are probably going to be dealing with somebody who you know, they may be they may be flirting with you. Okay, there's some flirting going on, but it doesn't lead to anything stable. Okay, you may want to change your direction. Really open your eyes and make sure that you are being practical here because if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Okay, with this page of pentacles reversed, there's no follow through. All right, there's lack of commitment. This will drop out. It's like this person will drop out of the game. They don't have any real uh, desire to take it long term, okay? Definitely. This person may present themselves to be, you know, they may present themselves to be, you know, everything you ever wanted, but it will leave you dissatisfied. And I don't, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This person, you know, may use drugs or alcohol or something to uh, get what they want, but it seriously will not last. It will not last. You may want to defend yourself, protect yourself, okay? You know, I feel like you, you or your intuition will tell you that this, there's something up, that, that you need to protect yourself from this person, but free will plays a part. The hangman is a card of free will, Okay. So this could be a karmic cycle or a karmic situation that you, this is a, an opportunity to learn from your past, you know, to move forward, to protect yourself and not let people take advantage of you. Okay. I really feel like you're going to be pursued by somebody that is interested, but they're not interested in, in anything long term. Um, this could be a third party situation. This person may already be working with somebody else. Okay. Um, maybe they want you to uh, work with them. Maybe they want you to get involved in a, in a third party situation. 
I really feel as though, you know, you are dealing with some sort of opposition and you probably are going to have some competition that you may not know about. Maybe you're not going to see it. Okay, because this person is so cunning. They are such a smooth talker. Maybe this person that you are that's coming in has loves competition, loves the thrill of competition, loves to take risks, and you're just the the one. Okay, so just be careful. And this does have to do with some sort of lesson. I know that it does with that with that wheel of fortune card right in the middle. It has to do with reality. It has to do with common sense. There's a you know be careful seriously. Um, you don't want to act foolish or be taken advantage of. This is this is bad timing. Uh, okay, so you may you may run into this person when they're already in a commitment and you feel a connection with this person and it's just not the right time, not the right place. This is foolish behavior. Poor judgment, heading for a fall. So you definitely need to be careful. I feel like you're going to be pursued by a real cunning, smooth talker who is all lovey-dovey, lovey-lovey, lovey-lovey-dovey, and they're just looking for satisfaction, and I'm in a, you know, not a long-term way, okay? Nothing long-term is going to come out of this, and you need to really make sure that you are being practical. Um, this person may have a sex addiction they may, or some sort of addictions and they may, you know, maybe they, they want to uh, get you all, uh, whatever, drugged up or I'm just, I mean, I don't know where that's coming from, but, or drinked up, you know, alcohol, drunk. Um, you gotta be careful not to make a foolish mistake. Just saying, um. Whoever is coming forward, I think that they are a risk taker. I think that it's risky business, and I think that it doesn't lead to anything long term. And you have to remember that you reap what you sow. If you get involved with somebody that is in a third party situation, karma will see that. And you can pretend to be naive. You can you can pretend you don't know about it, but you know. Your gut knows, okay? So you get what you deserve. So if you get this intuition, this notion that whoever is coming forward is in a relationship or they're already committed, then the answer is, is yes, you are correct. And if you uh, still do it anyway, then bad luck and bad karma will come your way. You will What you reap is what you sow. So I feel as though there's an opportunity to work together with somebody who is already in a commitment, but you may want to uh, push this person away because it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay. This person is deceptive. They lie. They're not looking for anything long term and you're just wasting your time. You could be dealing with uh, somebody that has a really big ego, somebody that is very prideful, somebody that needs constant attention. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign. This is somebody who likes control. Very, very strong individual. And this person takes action. This person is going to come after you. And if that if that card is you, that's you. <laughs> Needing to be noble, needing to act with integrity, needing to protect your own boundaries. There, you know, I don't know who you're dealing with, but I feel like this person is looking for somebody that is vulnerable, somebody that is easy, somebody that has lack of self esteem, lack of self worth, somebody that is easy, an easy target. You're dealing with somebody who needs an ego boost. And I suggest that you uh, push them away and... <sighs> Don't give them your attention. I'm just being honest with you. Wait. Wait for somebody that is solid. Wait for somebody that is that is stable, that is practical, that will give you something long term. This is be patient. 
the best things come to those who wait. Whoever this per the, the person that you are waiting for moves slow, not fast. They're not a this person is not a smooth talker. This person is down to earth, very grounded, very real. They're not going to rush. You have somebody in your future that you need to wait for. I think you need to be working on yourself and not be jumping into any kind of relationship with somebody that is full of shit because that is what I see here. Somebody may make a foolish mistake by getting themselves involved in a third party situation because they don't want to acknowledge it. They don't want to, you don't want to believe it, don't want to see it. I'm just going to pretend that I don't know. Well, what goes around comes around. So this is a dead end and it doesn't lead to happily ever after. Um, I suggest that you say no. That's what I got, Sagittarius. Good luck. I mean, that's, that's what I got. I can't change it. This is somebody that wants to prove something to the person that they are with. It's a, or prove something to themselves that they can have somebody else. You know what? Uh, this is somebody with a big ego. It is. It's like I can have whoever I want. This person has a self-image problem and they need an ego boost. And it's like they want to prove that they... It's like I can have whoever I want. They want to have their cake and eat it too. And they may see you as easy like that... T that uh, strength card reverse that I saw they're looking for an easy target I believe I believe this is a water sign a Pisces Cancer Scorpio somebody that is very deceptive and they are not going to tell you the truth they are not they are not this is an opportunity to uh, not repeat the same things the same mistakes that you have made Positive change is coming. If you, this is like a test. That Knight of Pentacles is a test. This is a test. It's a test of your worth. With the Strength card reversed, it is the strength of your vulnerability. It's the strength of your self-esteem and your self-confidence and your self-worth. Do you want to play with a player, or do you want something solid and stable? That's that's your choice. That's, that's up to you. So anyway, I feel like you need to wait. I feel like whoever is coming into your life is a player. Good luck. 